Uh, Lara, could you start tell me briefly what this story is all about? <laughs> 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 the Mothman Prophecies mm -hmm. is, is based on the legend of the Mothman, which is something that I had never heard of before. It just sounds so odd. Mothman just sounds weird in the mouth. But it's in 1966 in a small town in West Virginia called Point Pleasant, which is where our movie takes place, although we are present day. The entire town started to experience sort of paranormal uh, they started to have paranormal experiences. And the whole community became terribly unnerved. And it eventually led up to the collapse of the Silver Bridge that connected West Virginia to Ohio. And a number of people were killed. And it was a, 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 an enormous tragedy for that community. Um, the paranormal activity was attributed to something called the Mothman, which has been also documented to have appeared to the communities around Chernobyl and also in Mexico before the earthquake. So the movie basically deals with the legend of, of the Mothman and the prophecies that the Mothman sort of give out. It was a little risky um, because a lot of these movies can be really bad. <laughs> they can be very cheesy. And because this was also based on real events, which sort of sets it apart a little bit, most of these films are sort of science fiction or they're terrific, but they're not based in reality. You also have the added responsibility of telling a story that to particular communities is extremely personal and is not just about sensation um, or entertainment for that matter. So, but I think the real reason why I wanted to make the movie was so I could spend some more time with Richard Gere, who is a great friend, and uh, we'd worked together seven years ago. And uh, so when, when he and Gary Lucchese, who also produced Primal Fear, the movie that I did with Richard a while ago, um, they asked me to do this film, I just thought it would just be too much fun. It was, it was, the making of this movie was really interesting. It was very challenging because we were outside at night during the winter months. So we were cold and after a while uh, of being up all night long, you start to, you start to go a little crazy. <laughs> I mean, you just do. Um, it's just not natural to be up all night long for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. So it was very challenging that way. And it was also very exciting because of what Mark, um, his work with the camera is fascinating and very different from anything that I've experienced before. I mean, it was just all over the place. And there was equipment that I had never seen and um, camera techniques that I doubt I'll ever see again. So that was very exciting to be a part of a movie that was uh, that was so camera driven. I've never been in a film like that before. Uh, well, I think he just he thinks visually. He thinks visually first, and and so it's it, it it's just fascinating to work with someone who's who that is while it's not his main priority, but it's it's his forte, um, and then to figure out how you then fit into it. Um, so it was, it was really interesting. It was just interesting. Well, I, I've always been, you know, somewhat open to this sort of stuff. I don't, I certainly don't live my life by it, and I don't think about it all the time. But I, it's not out of, I don't think it's out of the realm of, of possibility. And certainly this community and others um, experience something. What it is, I don't know. But something was going on there. And the research that we did, there's the, the book, which we certainly all read, and, and all the, the, the interviews and the documents relating to the, the people who, who experienced this, the Mothman. Um, so there was, there was that sort of research that went on. And then some people from West Virginia did come to the SAT and I spoke with them as well. <laughs> it was very, very cold. And we had to keep stopping because the weather was so volatile. It was snowing and then it was raining and then it was... <laughs> so it was, it was a real challenge. Um, and one of those things, you sort of look back on it and go, wow. I mean, that was a, a rough, challenging, exciting few days. But it was, and it was scary. I mean, you know, the cars moving and all sorts of stuff going on. But it was also just, you know, sort of fascinating to see how filmmakers do stuff like that. You know, special effects, when they're done well, are, are really interesting. And how imaginative and creative people have to be to, in order to sort of translate that sort of feeling. The great thing about being an actress is that you get to learn about all sorts of stuff that you would never learn about otherwise. You sort of, for, it's like forced study. You become a student all over again. And I, I love doing that. And she, what it made me think about, I think more than anything else, is people who are responsible for a community of people or see themselves as being responsible for them. 
And when they are afraid, when they're scared, and they know that whatever they project will deeply affect these people, how careful they have to be and what they have to do to keep themselves grounded so that then when called upon they can help as opposed to being paralyzed with fear. Um, so it made me think about all of that.